1966, I just made my debut for Everton as a, a raw 16-year-old. Um, I was an apprentice. I cleaned the dressing rooms after all the games at Goodison Park. So Brazil close up, so Hungary, saw all the games at Goodison Park. We got free tickets and wide-eyed kid. And uh, remember Jan Farkas goal for Hungary. Remember seeing the great Pele cleaning up all the dressing rooms. So a marvellous, marvellous, fantastic time for me. You know, a time in my life, England won the World Cup. Alan Ball was bought by Everson at the World Cup. 66, such a great year. It was a great World Cup, so was 70. I watched that from bars in Magaluf, just got married. I'd been on standby for the World Cup squad, didn't quite make it. With John Hurst, my, our teammate, teammates together, um, Roy McFarlane, Larry Lloyd, and we all ended up watching the World Cup in the bars in Magaluf and uh, cheering England on and then skulking away when Germany came back from two goals down to beat us 3 2. And, uh, the Germans were making it quite impossible for us to stay in the bar. Pelly came in as a kid, super kid, scored a goal, and we all went, no, he's got to be older than that, and he wasn't. Many, I mean, Maradona was a great World Cup player. You know, you can't forget, you know, Maradona with his, his genius and uh, his strength, and Pelly the same, you know, great players are rise to the big occasion. So they, for me, are the two big World Cup individual giants. The England team, 66. Alan Ball, man of the match in a World Cup final. Um, Jeff Hurst scoring a hat-trick. Great times, excited. You get me at it now, thinking of the World Cup. They think it's all over. It is now. Jeff Hurst. Got to be England won the World Cup. There's been probably greater individual goals, but a 16-year-old kid sat at home jumping up and down. They think it's all over. Well, 